All right, so I moved the chicks. I built a little thing for them a few months ago. I believe all my chickens should get outside and forage as best they can. And there's a little Barbie rock right there that you can see her. Yep, she's checking it out. What's going on in there? But best thing for a chicken is to get outside. And this is the whole concept of the free range is start them young. That way they uh, get used to eating and foraging in the, in the grass. So addition to the farm. Oh, check that out. I had this a couple years ago. I used to have a lot of chickens and uh, donated it back across the street to the, the neighbor that had it. It was all rotting out, so I picked it up with a machine, set it on a hay wagon trailer just to keep it from rotting, and it'll hold about 40, 50 chickens, and then obviously you're gonna fence them in around us. So during the winter time, these guys here, let's do a little check out of these guys. Hey guys. These guys here are gonna go into there and then the layers I have now, right? There's about seven of them right now. The buffs, the barb rock, and the other ones are, they're gonna go into here for the winter. And Rudy and his princess will go into there for the winter. And then all the coops will get moved down towards the outdoor boiler. That way, when I go and load the boiler in the winter time, they're closer to that. And it saves me from trudging out into the four foot of snow we get sometimes, if not more. And uh, that coop, I'm gonna move with the truck, pull it right around here, and uh, I'll put it this way. Actually, I'll probably angle it because of the sun sets in the, rises in the east, sets in the west, so that's our west. So I'll face it to the south. That's what you're supposed to do with your solar, solar panels. So that's just a quick update on the farm. The egg farm going to start here probably March. Actually, no, February. We're going to have lots of eggs, so stay tuned.